Good morning everyone from Las Vegas, Nevada. Got the car hooked up to the Bigfoot. We are checked out of our campground there, uh, dumped the tanks, got a full tank of fresh water, propane, supplies here at the Walmart. And uh, for the first time, uh, we're gonna go camp in the infield at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway for the spring Pennzoil 400 race week. Very excited. I'm doing three new racetracks this year. Very excited. Allie is still with me. We're going to be traveling and enjoying NASCAR together. So uh, get in the RV and go get checked in and figure this all out. I'm sure everything will be different than all the other tracks I've been to. Well, let's go have fun. I will be uploading this video with some connected internet. Check out the video description below. Unlimited high speed on the road internet. So I'm going to be uploading all these videos from the road. Let's go. All right, we just got off I-15 North and directly in front of us is Las Vegas Motor Speedway. I don't know where we go exactly for the campers. I believe gate four is what we're looking for. But yeah, check in Wednesday at noon was about 15 minutes ago. So we're not gonna be the first ones. We'll try to find where everybody's at, everybody went to. All right, so, so far I don't see an actual staging area. So I'm kind of just aiming for the infield tunnel here. I assume. We're gonna find out. I'm gonna check in here and get some information. All right, so we are not going in the tunnel yet. I've got a little bit of misinformation on my phone call, but we do need to go get inspected first. So he told me to ride around here and uh, they probably wanna look in my RV, make sure I don't have anything I'm not supposed to have. All right, that was incredibly confusing. Lots of bad information, but look, infield RV search station. Now I know this is where you have to go to start, even though they told me to go straight to the infield tunnel for my tickets. That is false. This, okay, so if I ever do this again, now we'll know, we'll go get inspected. All right, that was literally one of the easiest, most non-stressful searches I've ever had at a NASCAR track in the history of ever. His only question when we get back on the road is, do you have any beer or alcohol? And I said, lots. He said, okay, good, you're good to go. <laughs> so now we have an inspection sticker on the RV and the car, and now he will let us through to go pick up my camping tickets at Will Call. And we're through. Good weather this week. Today's high is 69 degrees in Las Vegas. Look at this. Finally, I said I was gonna do this last fall, and here I am taking my RV through this tunnel. I made it happen. How freaking cool is this? Honk, honk. Yeah. Oh, I love it. The truck behind me blew his. <laughs> awesome. I found the RV infield check-in station here. Just gave her my ID to pick up my will call tickets and then we'll get going. All right, we're driving around on the chicane here. The infield course here. They've got numbers painted on here. They told me to look for my number. We're still in the twos. And I think we got to get over to turn four is where I'm at. So we'll just keep uh, driving around. Not too many campers here early. Today's the first day. And they got some fighter jets flying around. I keep hearing them. I'll point one out. If it, okay, now we're in the threes. We're getting close. All right, we found it. We're going to be at turn four. I'm not in my sight now because I still got to disconnect the car and kind of figure out which way I want to aim and which way the flags are going to go and the satellite needs south to be able to pick up all the feeds and everything. But this is us right at turn four going into the front stretch right there. So we'll have the, that big Pennzoil look for the whole weekend here. But yeah, let me get everything unhooked and then uh, we'll get comfortable. We already got someone who parked right there. And there's a jet fighter right there. So they'll be doing the flyover ceremony, I guess, for like during the national anthem and everything. Oh, he's having fun up there. I'm excited, guys. Yeah, it's race week. All right, guys, we're here. We're parked. I'm in my spot. We got here super early. I, I feel bad for the people that can't get here until Friday and then you, you sit out here drinking beer, eating popcorn, watching people trying to maneuver into tiny little spaces. I already got somebody smoking some barbecue over there. And uh, what's really cool about my site this year at Vegas is I have no neighbors over here. My site ends right here and right there. But this is all road. 
This is all road. Wait, I'm still in the road. All of this will stay open. Woo! That's right! All of this is a road. Where the camera's at right now is where the next RV is going to be at. I don't have everything out just yet, but I got all the flags I'm going to be displaying, all three of them, trying something new, using the rear tire of the RV and the front tire of the RV for those other two ones. I do believe you have to take down all your flags to the roof line when they are racing, when they're physically racing. But the projector will go right here. The screen's bungeed and secure to the wall. Got my speaker, my Harley chair. I didn't bring my other chair, actually. Got my propane Coleman grill here. And uh, there will be another RV here, right here, eventually. But one more look. There's gonna be my view of turn four coming into the front stretch finish line right there in the grandstands. It's gonna be a great, great view. See, see the turn two bank right there? I mean, there will be other RVs right here, but we can hop up on the roof or see if we want to get tickets later. That's so awesome. South Point 400, the Pennzoil South Point 400. Truck races Friday night, Xfinity Saturday night, and the NASCAR Cup Series, which William Byron, number 24, is going to win his second race of the season on Sunday at 2 p.m., I think. Yeah. freaking cool i guess they're practicing because they're gonna do a flyover for sunday's race i guess and that it's so incredibly loud believe me my iphone did not pick up the sound and roar and feel and all the alarms that it was setting off and i missed the one that went right over us right here and as he flew over you could see the red hot gen jet engine fuel burning as he went over us it was ridiculous it is that is just so awesome that's so cool i'm uh, grilling up some more uh, chicken here doing some grilled chicken out here we got we also got steak and burgers and hot dogs and I think something else to put on the grill out here this weekend it begins man it's beautiful beautiful weather out here guys all right chickens just about done Allie and I are gonna watch school of rock with Jack Black here outside it's nice and comfortable outside actually and uh, my palm tree it's glitchy it's glitchy the this happened in Quartzsite too. These last two branches went out. I'm not sure what's going on, but the front two are working. Uh, I'll take it for now. But yeah, the only, the only bummer part about this particular site is that we've got these huge bright floodlights of the front stretch right on us. Uh, it's, it's a little bright, but thankfully I have this laser projector and we can see it just fine. Even if it looks a little light to you, it's, it's very bright for us, so yeah. And good morning once again from Las Vegas Motor Speedway. We're going to get a, a few more RVs are probably going to show up today. Uh, when I booked this about a month ago, though, it was just going to be me. So now that I'm traveling with a friend, I just went over to the infield office there, exchanged and got and purchased a second wristband, as well as these weekend neon garage passes. This is for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, because I was here in the fall, it was a really cool experience being in there and just something a little different than standing on the roof of your RV or watching it on a screen or something like that. So we'll be mixing this in and out with the credentials and kind of do what we want. But here live today is Thursday and there's nothing going on. There's not even any practicing going on around the track. So kind of two quiet days here at the track, but which is great for setting up. Uh, we are going to take the car out and go run some errands today at least and uh, maybe go find a bowling alley. But uh, yeah, pretty darn good weather here in Vegas, guys. I really lucked out. Also, you know, I would say last night was our first real boondocking with the new solar system, and we watched a whole video out, or a whole movie outside uh, School of Rock with the projector and everything plugged in, and then we watched a documentary inside, and we wake up today, 
and we're at 78% there on the batteries so far, bringing in 1,100 watts of solar. And uh, when I woke up, this was at 75, now it's at 78 at 10 a.m. So I think we're gonna be just good. We've got the right amount of solar, the right amount of battery storage to boondock comfortably now and not run that generator. Uh, we left the raceway. We're on Las Vegas Boulevard. This is apparently the closest bowling alley to us. So we're gonna check out the silver nugget here. Looks pretty empty oh. here. Um, you know what? <laughs> Google doesn't even know. This place is boarded long boarded up. Whoa. Like they're missing mirrors on the top that are <laughs> and yeah, long boarded up. I don't know when it closed, but uh, I guess we're gonna have to find another bowling alley. Let's break in. <laughs> All right, we found another one. The second closest one to us. This is called round one. There's actually cars in the parking lot and there's a huge bowling pin out front. Awesome, let's try it. Yeah, it's clearly a also a very big arcade place. We're gonna find the bowling alley. All right, so here's their prices. It's $46 for 60 minutes, up to six people, or it's $5.80 per game per person. Because there's only two of us. It'd be cheaper just to play two games for 20 bucks total. So, all right, Allie, you're up first. She's got a, she's got a broken arm though, so that's kind of not fair. So she's gonna be bowling with her, with her left hand, but still. No bumpers? No bumpers. All right, we're off and running. They have a bar here, so we got a pitcher of beer here to stay cooled, and all their bowling balls are kind of cool. They look like basketballs, you know? It's kind of cool, right? And they have some food options over there too. We're just gonna bowl for an hour and have some fun. And you picked it up on the first one. Nice spare. Nice spare to start. Womp womp. Hey, we're just having fun here, but finished our second game and I just bowled an all, all time high 180. 180, you're my good luck charm. I've never bowled a 180 before. All right, we're back. We had fun. Super windy here in Las Vegas, so I had to move the grill uh, over here. Actually, I'm trying something new. I've been wanting to do this with taters for a while, but I cut up uh, four four potatoes, I diced them up, and then I put in some seasoning in a bag, mixed them up, mixed that all up good. Then uh, put them in some foil here on the grill. Gonna let those sit for about 15 minutes, and then we'll do our steak over here on uh, this side. Starting to get more people. Behind me is still all open. These will all be RVs, but I'll show you. There's two rental RVs over here. And you can tell they're doing something interesting because they're parked at very weird angles. Only this RV is in an actual site. That one's taking up three more sites at an angle with a porta potty. And on the side, it says free temporary tattoos. And ladies and gentlemen, we've got our first official bar set up here in Las Vegas. Free adult beverages within, free temporary tattoos within. They've already got fireball and snacks on the table, little lights going around and everything. I love the setup, bud. This looks awesome. They got games to play here. You guys are ready to rock and roll. We are, looking forward to a fun week. It's gonna be fun, man, thank you. All right, just put the steak on. Let's check those taters there. Oh yeah. Oh man, that smells good. Big old RV still pulling in. And the sun's setting over here. Right there, looking awesome. All right, I think it's time to flip these steaks here. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Looks freaking awesome. Actually, we have neighbors. Nope, looks like they're going in kitty corner to us. We're watching Deadliest Catch, and uh, Allie's is ready because she doesn't like hers as cooked as much as I did. She's more of a rare gal, but the potatoes turned out pretty good. And I don't have direct neighbors yet. They were actually just getting lined up to park right there by that uh, place that has the free booze and free temporary tattoos. And there's my steak. Almost done, taters look good. A little burned on the bottom. I even added water, but it seemed, didn't really help. Next time I'll put some Pam on there. Steak was freaking awesome. I need to work on my seasoning a little better. 
tastes a little bland, but the potatoes worked out great. Perfect. 45 minutes on the grill at 250. That was perfect. Guys, look at this sunset. This is ridiculous. This is what I have to look at every night out here at Vegas at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Gosh, it's gorgeous. Allie's going to stay behind and watch the kitties. Uh, I want to go up here to the entrance because in about five minutes, the haulers are going to be leaving the famous Welcome to Las Vegas sign, and they're going to be coming in the infield. So I want to get a shot of them. I'll bring my iPhone with me because uh, it's getting dark quick here. And that wraps up our Thursday night here, guys. We've got some high winds. It's going to be an interesting uh, truck series race and Xfinity race on Friday and Saturday because we have very, very high winds expected. But it looks like the bar next door is open. We're going to show that in my next video as we get ready. All right, guys, have a good one. Sleeping here inside the track. Y'all be well. Opie, Tara, and Allie, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.